From Purdue down to Champaign, we check in with Brad Underwood now. The last four seasons, no team has had a better conference record than the Orange and Blue. About 70% of their player minutes from last season are back. The Fighting Illini were an NCAA Tournament 9 seed last year. Very high scoring team. And oh, by the way, second in the country in blocks per game. Let's check in with our head coach, Brad Underwood, next. Our next coach from the University of Illinois is head coach Brad Underwood. Coach Underwood is entering his seventh season at Illinois after directing the Illini to their third consecutive NCAA tournament appearance. Coach, we'll begin with your opening statement. Thank you. Pleasure to be here in Minneapolis and uh, I look forward to uh, being back here uh, in, the, in the spring for uh, what is always a very, very exciting Big Ten tournament. So um, it's hard to imagine year seven already, um, but um, this year will be no different than any other year. This will be the best league in the country, uh, top to bottom. Um, I think it's an exciting time for, for the conference under Tony's leadership uh, with expansion, uh, with everything else that's going on in, in, um, in, the, in the world. Uh, the Big Ten benefits from that, and uh, we're adding four wonderful basketball programs to our to our league. Uh, we'll get through this year. Um, I, I'm, I'm excited to uh, uh, to take the journey with our team this year. Uh, I'm excited about our group. Uh, but as we all know, playing on the road in this league in front of a packed house, uh, sellout crowds, great coaches, great players, uh, will make it uh, one of the best years ever and, and uh, very excited to get started. Thank you, Coach. We'll uh, open the floor now for questions. <clears throat> On your right side, Coach. Yep. Third row. Brad, John Fanta from Fox Sports. Good morning. Good morning. What uh, would you assess is the latest on your point guard situation? Yeah, it's good. Um, everybody seems to be worried about it, uh, except me. Um, you know, I like, uh, you know, I think one of the big mistakes I made last year was I didn't play Ty Rogers there exclusively. Um, you know, Ty's 6'6", uh, been very good. We brought a, a, another young man in at semester last year from Italy, uh, Nico Moretti. Um, Nico got a year, pr or a, a jump start, so to speak, with, with practice time uh, in the weight room. Uh, Nico was fantastic on our trip to Spain. Um, uh, Draven Gibbs Lawhorn. Uh, Sincere Harris, uh, Sincere started 14 or 15 games last year at that spot. Um, and, and Draven is a guy that um, has, has uh, on our trip to Spain, played there a lot. So I feel really good about it. We're multidimensional. We've got scoring there. We've got passing. Uh, we've got size. I think one of the advantages of, of our team is, is positionally we can be very, very big, starting tie there. Uh, you know, 6'6 six, six with a 6'11 wingspan. Uh, you got Terrence Shannon at the two, you know, 6'6 six, six or 6'7, six, and then uh, multiple options at the three, four, and five. So uh, they're all 6'7, six, 6'8. Six, uh, so um, I think that could be a, a, a real uh, positive thing for us. Second row here. Brad, Adam Jardy with the Columbus Dispatch. Uh, you've been in this league long enough now to <clears throat> see the lack of separation at times in the standings. Uh, as you look ahead to this year, what do you think will be the difference between the teams that are kind of at the bottom of that log jam that we generally see in the middle and, and what could separate a team at the top? Yeah, I think we're in an interesting time in, in college basketball just because of, of COVID. And, and we, we have maybe the biggest age discrepancy ever. Uh, 23, 24 year olds, playing against 17, 18 year olds sometimes. Um, you know, last year I think it played out a little bit that we saw some very old teams be very successful. Uh, we had one of those in our league, Penn State. Um, I, I think that can be something that uh, uh, separates. Um, obviously, a team that's tough enough to go on the road and win in this league, uh, road wins are like gold. And uh, you, you like to stockpile those if you can get them. Uh, but it takes tremendous leadership, tremendous charisma, character for your team to do that, uh, and maturity. And, uh, you know, I think that that's, um, that's usually the defining moment. But top to bottom, this league has got great coaches, great players. Uh, you know, I think you could, other than maybe Purdue because of Zach, you could probably throw them all in a hat 
and and pull them out and say, hey, you know, they could finish here and and not be shocked. You got a question? <clears throat> Great. Hey, Brad Isaac Trotter with twenty four seven. Your numbers defensively with Coleman and Terrence and Ty together were really good. How, how do you massage like the two other guys in that five man lineup in that and make how do they make their life a little bit easier? Yeah, that's uh, that's the, the the plan. We know those guys are really good. Coleman Hawkins, I think, is one of the elite defenders in college basketball. He can positionally guard one through five. Uh, Terrence Shannon, I think, is one of the better two way players. Um, you know, and and. Uh, uh, last year we had a lot of youth. We played. Uh, we made a lot of mistakes. I'm hoping experience. Um, I'm hoping size uh, at some different spots, and we're trying very, very hard just to be consistent on that end. I think we've got a, a plethora of guys that we can throw out there, but we want to match their level. There's no doubt. Ty's proven he can be one of the top rebounding uh, guards in the country. Uh, he's tough. He's physical. Uh, he's in much better shape. He's dropped about 20 pounds since last year, so he's 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 leaner, more athletic. So um, you know those three guys are a good starting point, and uh, uh, but I like some of the, the 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 things our other guys have done. Coach Underwood, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Again, the main core from last year's team comes back, including Terrence Shannon Jr., a preseason All Big Ten unanimous selection. It's an Illinois team that's won 20 games or more four seasons in a row.